Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got my blood work back for my hypothyroidism. I do this like every six months or so. And for the first time in a year, my levels were normal, in the normal range. And it makes me so happy because I've really put a huge focus on trying to look at like everything I'm eating and putting in my diet and remove any of the stuff I feel like could be negatively impacting my thyroid and add more in that I feel like would be like good stuff. So I want to take you through everything I eat in a day and really like break down all of those different foods and share with you how they can impact the thyroid because if you are struggling with hypothyroidism or any of the symptoms that I'm dealing with like you don't want to deal with them they suck so for those of you that are new to my channel I was diagnosed when I was 11 um, so this is not new to me but it doesn't ever get more fun <laughs> like it still stinks all the time but when you kind of finally unlock certain things you're like oh, yes and you just feel so good so for me some of the symptoms I've dealt with are weight gain like I share my 45 pound weight loss story with you guys and like even doing that with hypothyroidism but it's really easy to gain weight it's really hard to lose weight <laughs> tons of fatigue like just like chronic fatigue I also dealt with like chronic headaches dry skin brittle hair hair falling out like especially this last year the first six months of the year my hair was like shedding a ton and breaking and I told you guys I was like on a mission to figure out how to grow my hair again and get it healthy, which like these last six months, I mean, look at it. Oh, she's looking good. Um, so I know that I've been doing things right. And hopefully if it's something you're dealing with, this will be like super helpful for you guys. Um, but I know every time I share about it, you guys have so many questions. So if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And first I'm just gonna walk you through my coffee because I already made it. If you watch my other routine videos, you know I just like have a deep love for my coffee. It's just like my favorite part of my routine. I like cherish it in the morning. But one thing that I did realize was even when I was trying to give myself enough time between taking my medication and drinking my coffee, I feel like it was still like probably too soon. So I put like more effort into trying to take my medication when I wake up to the bathroom or something earlier in the morning so that I can have at least like an hour and a half before I actually have my coffee. So oftentimes like I'll wake up at like five, take my medication, go back to sleep, and then I'll make my coffee. And then in my coffee, I do my Miss Congeniality mood boost. So this was like, if you've watched my old routines, I used to like mix all my potions of different adaptogens together to make my coffee um, and put it in there because they were all things that would really benefit your thyroid. But now it's in Miss Congeniality and she's just ready to go. And it really helps like balance hormones, which again, your thyroid is regulating, but if it's hypo and it's underactive, it's not doing such a great job. Um, so that's like something that has always been a part of my coffee routine, but I think having that extra time gap and then having my coffee with my Miss Congeniality, I'll do some like collagen peptides and milk in it has been like a really big help for me. And now I have to drink this and get to the office because <laughs> I've been just like, enjoying my nice slow morning and I feel like that always happens when you feel like you have plenty of time like extra time I woke up extra early this morning and then all of a sudden you're like crap I gotta go oh my gosh you guys this fit is so freaking cute I think I need to do like a budget activewear haul because I've been getting so much stuff on Amazon it's just it just fits good and it's only $30 okay now I gotta go to the office Run, run, run. <laughs> it's the alarm cardio. Go, go. Can't do sprints in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, 60, wow. It's like it's fall. Oh yeah, so Ryan and I used to sit here, but now we have our own little office that needs help. It needs furniture. That's where Ryan sits. Here's my spot. It's felt so weird having like our own office because we've been always like in the main space and literally it's right there. It's not like it's like some faraway office, but just being in here, I'm like, where is everyone? Um, I think I'm going to ooh, highlight 
This is a nice thing about having this space is I feel like I actually have some light I can turn to, which is great. Um, for breakfast, I think I'm just gonna make, I have these little like egg muffin things I got from Costco um, just for ease, cause I was gonna run home. I normally will have my breakfast like around like, it just depends on the day. If I'm doing like circuit training in the morning and like lifting weights, then I eat early in the morning. But like today, I'm not working out this morning, not working out till later. So I usually will wait until about like noon and then I'll have my first like, hearty like meal anyway i was gonna go home but i just like i got busy here so i'm just gonna make these little egg muffins that i got from costco i'll show you guys everything that's in them all of the future LSF ideas with my head. <laughs> we have like some serious brainstorm crazy happening in here. <laughs> really good stuff. Um, okay, so we have the egg white frittata and then we're gonna have a little chomps as well because I feel like it's like, you know like when you have like eggs and like sausage, <laughs> kind of the same thing, but not the microwave does not cook things even. <laughs> Our microwave, I just These ordered are a new so one. These are so hot though, but they, they were cold It takes like ago. 10 minutes to heat anything. So if it tells you that you need to microwave something for like two minutes, then you have to microwave it for at least four, usually five. But then you like go past that barrier and it ends up burning your mouth off. That's what happens when you need a cute microwave that fits in a small space that doesn't necessarily work the best, but looks good. I just ordered a new one, just a basic one. So I usually make little like egg white bites, but these are just easy and convenient when you don't have time to make them or prep them ahead of time. But egg is really great because it has selenium. So that's gonna activate your thyroid hormone so that your body can use them. So you can get it in like Brazil nuts as well, but eggs are a great source of it. And if you guys have tried my Hypo 101 meal plan, you know there's lots of eggs in it for you. These also have a little bit of cheese, which normally I avoid. Dairy is like one of those things that you can search what foods are good for your thyroid and for reducing symptoms. And it'll be like, dairy's great. And then another thing will be like, dairy's terrible. You really have to kind of feel how your body feels. So for me, I'm fine with like a little bit of dairy. I try to limit it. Like I don't really eat cheese boards anymore. If I do, it's very rare and I make sure it's like raw cheese. But the little bit of cheese that's in this like never bothers me. When I make them on my own at home, I ditch it. But dairy can be really good because it can have a lot of probiotics and also iodine, which is great for you. Just playing ring around the conference room. I'm sitting on a charger. Just trying to find a spot where I can see you guys. Um, so I just finished my egg bites. These chomps I've shown you guys forever, especially for us hypo girls. Protein is so important um, for so many reasons, but like I just mentioned, making sure you're getting that selenium, which is naturally found in things like this. But these are awesome because they come in like beef and the turkey. I don't eat like regular beef, but the turkey ones are like my absolute favorite. Ryan took the jalapeno one, which is usually the one I go for. <laughs> because <laughs> it's like got a little spice to it but there's no added sugar which is something i avoid with my thyroid you know it's like not like super processed or anything like that it's 10 grams of protein this one only has 60 calories they're gluten-free non-gmo like it's just like a really awesome option for a snack on the go but also like i said it's weirdly like really good with breakfast because it's like having sausage and eggs. So I do have a code for you guys if you want to try Chomps or if you've tried them before, like, you know they're amazing. So I'll put the link down below. It's just LSF20, you get 20% off. Um, but these are truly my favorite go-to snack pretty much every day. I have to run home real fast because I forgot a couple of things that I need and I want to film a few TikToks. So I'm going to do that. It's just hard to do at the office sometimes because there's so much going on and so many people and I'm like, it just like, I need to be able to focus. So I'm going to run home, then I'll be back. But I also think I'm going to get a poke bowl for lunch because I haven't had one in a while and it sounds really good. So Ryan usually drives us just for whatever reason. Um, but he never freaking fills up my gas tank until it's like the very last second is not okay. Anyway, so we always let it go like down to the final five miles or something. And then I've been like almost on zero and he'll be like, it's fine when it hits zero, you still have like 30 miles. <laughs> no, this is not the way I was raised. My dad like was always, I think just cause we're all girls. It was like me and my sister and my mom. He always was like, oh, you only have a quarter of a tank left. You better fill it up or he'd go and fill it up for us. So 
Anyway, now I have to stop for gas, which I wasn't planning on doing, but it's time. I have to drop this right now because we are driving to LA. How many miles did you say we have left? We have, well, it says five, but it, that's not like, it's usually five and then zero. You got like five to 10 minutes. I told you guys, oh my gosh. I'm so happy this happened almost just so you can see it in action. This is like a week after I filled up my tank. You didn't, you didn't. I filled up my tank, uh, literally in this video, I filled up my tank and I talked about how you never do and you always run us to the very end. I didn't know you didn't have gas when we left to go to LA. I mean, you didn't look at it. Well, you were, you were trying me. Well, but we like had to go once we got in the car, so it just was what it was. Okay, I realize it just sounded so ratty, but like I have nothing to complain about Ryan about because he just is a, a honestly a great husband. I don't know if this ever happens to you guys, but I just walked in my house and like just like needed a smoothie. Like I was still gonna get a poke bowl, but I need to do this stuff first. But like I just like got like a like crazy craving. I feel like most people are like, no, you're probably crazy. You get cravings like for like bad stuff. No, like I just need fruit right now, and I'm not even a fruit person. Frozen mixed berries, water, wing woman, some coconut flakes, LSF plant protein. What else did I put? Oh, macadamia nuts. I think that's everything I put in there. So I have some healthy fats, proteins, everything. But for me, the reason I put those ingredients, it's like one of my favorite smoothies to make. I have a few favorites, but it usually includes mixed berries. Um, and adding the wing woman is because if you have hypothyroidism, your immune system is probably pretty weak. I used to get sick all the time. Like when Ryan met me, he was like, girl, what's wrong with you? Like I always felt sick and run down and that's because I was not eating the right way to help my thyroid function the way it needed to. So with your immune system being weak, it's important to make sure you're getting a lot of antioxidants and then the zinc that you get in Wing Woman also helps like stimulate your hormones for your thyroid to actually activate and work for you. And then I also love Wing Woman because vitamin C is a precursor to collagen. So if you're taking collagen, but even just in your body, like to actually make sure it's doing something, you need some vitamin C. And then vitamin D helps stimulate hair follicle growth. So I really do think that like my daily wing woman has helped with that. But just my eating in general and then focusing on adding foods that will help my immune system and strengthen my defenses really, really has been a huge game changer for me. And the wing woman daily, I either have it in my water or my smoothies, that's happened over the last like six months probably. So that definitely has been one of the biggest things. Macadamia nuts in that smoothie too have selenium. So again, making sure I'm eating foods that are rich in these different things that help stimulate my thyroid is really important. And then eliminating and really, really re at least reducing processed foods is like key. I also just realized I need to take my second dose of one of my thyroid medications. So I usually take it around two. Okay, done. I just went down the TikTok rabbit hole. I was shooting so much stuff. So if you guys aren't following on TikTok, make sure you follow, I'll put the link down below. But I still need a Poke Bowl and it's already like four o'clock. So it's weird time, but whatever. I'll just have a late dinner. Usually my MO anyway. This bowl is loaded. I haven't had a poke bowl in so long. And I got the regular size because they have like a jumbo one. But look how massive this is. That is a freaking loaded poke bowl. It's like a pokey trough. I got a mix of like half brown rice and half greens because if they do full brown rice, it's usually a ton. But I wanted that fiber, obviously, for constipation and everything else. You need to get plenty of fiber. Um, but just like 
in the right doses throughout the day, not like overstuff your body with fiber. Then also I want fuel for my workout, so those are good carbs. And then I got a kelp salad, which is a great source of that iodine, which your body needs. If it doesn't have enough, then it's not gonna produce the right hormones to help regulate your thyroid. So again, really important. You don't wanna to do too much soy, because soy can actually mess with your levels, but the kelp is amazing. So I have a big old clump of kelp salad right in this corner over here. I'm gonna take this outside to eat because it is so nice right now. Also, I feel like this bowl is a great example of how you can make the hot body meal plan, the Hypo 101. So if you have Hypo, that's the version of the hot body meal plan that is for Hypo girls. But this is a like, great example of how you make it work for you. So on my meal plan today, I had brown rice, I had mahi-mahi, there was something else like in the mix for my lunch. And I'm like, okay, I can get brown rice, I can get other fish, which counts. I, oh, I had avocado. I got avocado in my poke bowl and then veggies are just limitless so then i'm like great I get greens i can get all these cucumbers all these other veggies and have this massive bowl and i don't have to have just like just mahi mahi here's something else i can make those swaps and make it really practical to eat the things i want but still get results making tacos tonight. Um, so I'll show you guys everything I'm putting in them. But one thing that I am putting in that you just saw me chopping is kale. So kale is one of those veggies if you have hypothyroidism, like kale, broccoli, cauliflower, all the cruciferous vegetables every time. Um, that are kind of like on the fence uh, because they're goiters and they can cause some issues. But here's the thing, all the research shows that it's really if you have them in hugely high amounts and if you're not cooking them. So if they're raw and you're just like downing pounds of those veggies, yeah, sure, it can cause a problem. But if you're cooking them super well and you saw me massage it, that makes it easier to digest. So I'm gonna actually saute that up with the onion. So normal amounts that a normal person would eat every day if you're gonna be cooking them well you'll be fine. And they're kind of my favorite, so <laughs> gotta keep them in the diet. I just showered because I had finished working out. I need to go check on my onions. And normally I'd have my protein right after a workout, but since we're gonna have dinner right now, I'm gonna save my protein and have it for a little dessert. I have the bison cooking in there, and then I'm gonna be using these siete tortillas because they're grain-free, so just, again, and gluten-free, obviously, and everything, just easy to digest. It's so weird, like, obviously, proteins are really, really important for your thyroid health, again, the selenium and everything you need in there, but for some reason, I, like, cannot digest regular beef like even grass-fed all of that like i get gnarly stomach cramps but the bison is really easy for me to digest i've never had any issues i still will always take oh they're in my purse um but they're the digestive enzymes so i'll link down below it's my friend taylor's brand she makes awesome ones but they're called eat your heart out but it's so that it just again helps your body break down everything you're eating so normally when i eat a big meal i'll do that and then i take just a regular probiotic every morning which i forgot to mention because again really working on the gut health is a top priority tacos are done i made a little salad dressing it's literally just lemon tahini some tahini also actually and a little bit of water just super simple but to keep it in the flavors and then i have avocado so i'm gonna eat about a quarter of an avocado that is a normal serving size healthy fats are so important always but especially for us hypo girls so i'm gonna split a quarter of an avocado across my tacos <laughs> so I drink this little mixture of the Elsa plant protein and slumber party almost every single night it's really great to get protein in especially before you go to sleep for helping with muscle recovery and reducing muscle soreness and just all of the things you're looking for especially for us hypo girls but hopefully you guys like seeing what i eat in a day if you have questions still about what i eat or about hypothyroidism and symptoms make sure you drop it in the comments below subscribe to my channel if you're new because i have new videos for you every single week i love you guys so much so have a good night see you soon bye